What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Austin Show. I'm back with more Star Wars Black Series figure. This time doing a small little gaming greats wave here. So all these figures were exclusive to GameStop here in the US and they all correlate with Star Wars video games. So first up here from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which is a game I did play here on the channel. So if you want to check that out. First up we got the Scout Trooper, which is just a basic Scout Trooper, just has a few more details on him. And then we get Electro Staff Purge Trooper, which we've had a Purge Trooper before. So we will look at that. But this one's designed a little bit different and comes with that Electro Staff. And the next two we got are the Jango Fett from Star Wars Bounty Hunter, which was a game I played a lot as a kid, so it's awesome to get a Jango Fett. And from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords, we've got Darth Nihilus, which looks super badass. Very cool looking figure. I'm excited to check this one out, especially. So all these figures look super cool, and I'm excited to check all these out, so I hope you are as well. So let me go ahead and open them and get them out of the boxes, and we'll check them out together. So we're starting off with the Scout Trooper here, and he looks like pretty much all the other Scout Troopers we've had before, but Scout Troopers are specially trained Storm Troopers in the Galactic Empire that were light armor for mobility and these ones specifically are skilled in melee combat crowd control and defense against lightsabers so as i mentioned it is a scout trooper like we've seen multiple times before nothing really different going on besides being more clean white so overall he's exactly the same as all those before the only difference is now has this belt on with straps has this little contraption on the front of it and you can see it's got wires that run all the way up and around to the back we're on the back here we have what i assume to be like some sort of like battery or generator type thing that runs because it's attached with the cord and the cord also runs down his hand onto this little piece so it's supposed to like go to his glove and I assume that this is what goes to Electro Riot Baton that he comes with to be able to give it the electricity and everything so I assume that's some sort of just like battery pack control and everything but otherwise as I said it's the same scout trooper we've had multiple times so his head can move all the way around there he can look down and look up shoulders do come up 90 degrees and can rotate around of course this one has the cord but on the left side it can freely rotate we get a double elbow joint that bends up that far so it folds up on itself and then the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth we don't really have any ab crunch or twist or anything like there's a little bit of movement But you don't get a whole lot, but the hips come up 90 degrees out to the side a little bit there Thigh can twist all the way around. We've got a double knee joint that bends up that far He can kick his own butt shin twist right at the top of the boot And then the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side and for weapons He does come with the EC 17 holdout blaster There's the little blaster that the scouts come with so we got this that can go into his little leg holster there But again this one's specifically made with this electro riot baton. So just a big stick here that has electricity on the end and again it's made to be able to fight off with lightsabers and then crowd control and all sorts of stuff so we just take and stick this right into his hand there so again that's really all he has is just this stick in his hand and just for comparison here is a normal scout trooper so as you can see pretty much the same thing just the only difference is all like the dirt and stuff isn't on him and then he doesn't have those pockets right on his abdomen he just instead has this whole belt device not really much different beyond that but it's awesome that he comes with the electric baton there very cool and next up we've got the purge trooper and the purge trooper are specialized Imperial soldiers trained to help the Inquisitors hunt down the Jedi so they're a little bit stronger than just your normal stormtroopers but you can see he's in an all black arm has the nice Imperial logo there up on the shoulder some white chevrons so right there on his forearms and then a set right there on his thigh as well so that kind of just helps break up all the black has some like red details there on the stuff on his back and then the helmet looks different so it's like a modified more advanced stormtrooper style helmet there and then he has an all black pauldron there on his shoulder and as I mentioned earlier we have had a purge trooper before four so here is the one we got last time so again pretty much overall same design just it has more red so where the new one just is mostly all black this one had more red details into itself like on the skirting and up on the pauldron and stuff so i think i like the one with more red on it compared to the all black one but the all black one still looks really cool first movements his head can't twist all the way around he can look down and up shoulders can come up a little bit there again they don't have the softer padding so you don't really get too much movement but it can rotate around he has a bicep twist the double elbow joint that only bends up that far and his wrist can twist around and flex back and forth he's got an ab crunch there crunch forward and back side to side and twist all the way around his hips can come up 90 degrees there if you twist them out to the side a little bit so it has the thigh twist as well a double knee joint that only bends up that far unfortunately and then the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side. So unlike the last purge trooper we got that came with the guns, this one comes with the Electro Staff, which is this very long staff that has electricity, like Hasbro effect pieces on there. I don't know where it goes exactly. I assume on the ends there, because that's where you would think, but like I know in the box, they had them kind of more in like the center parts here, which they could go there as well. I'm not sure, but I would think they would go more on the end. But these should look kind of familiar because they're the exact same staffs that the Bagna Guards with General Grievous had. So it's the same style of staff there with the electricity. So I mean, 
me try and get this in his hands. So it's kind of hard to get in his hand and the staff itself is like big and bulky so I don't think it looks too good. And then with the Hasbro effects not knowing exactly where they're supposed to go and they're real loose and everything they just kind of fall down wherever they want so they don't really kind of stick on anywhere specifically. I think it'd be much cooler overall but I just don't think this design worked out perfectly but still awesome to get a different version of the Purge Trooper to go here with our other one. And then from Star Wars Bounty Hunter we got Jango Fett and I think this looks really cool. And it's all Mandalorian armor of course all the silver and blue which I really enjoy. So like up there on his head he has the normal helmet on so I like the blue details there with the rest of the silver. We can take his helmet off and reveal his face there so there we got Tamora Morrison. I think looks pretty good. We do have the original one so we'll compare that but that's pretty awesome. Underneath he has like a purplish blue jumpsuit he wears as his main body but then has his armor piece in there with the best car has the shoulder armors there and then we go down to their van braces there of course so that she can shoot out flames and whip cords and all sorts of cool stuff there he's got the pin missiles there on that arm as well brown belt right at his waist with some holsters coming down off to the side with his dual blasters more best armor going down his leg got the knee pads with the two little guns on the side of it and the shin pads going all the way down to the feet which these are the mandalorian feet i hate i like more like what the armor from the mandalorian was wearing and stuff i hate these style of shoes so overall it looks pretty cool i really do like the look of this Django a lot and around on his back he does have the jetpack so of course the jetpack but it is a jetpack so he can fly around and he has the giant rocket there in the end of it so of course he can bend down and shoot the rocket off and everything so very cool but for his movement so his head there can twist all the way around he does have neck joints but they're real stiff so it's hard to get him to move but he can't look down and up there so not a whole lot of range like I said just because of the stiffness his shoulders come up 90 degrees and can rotate around he's got a bicep kind of twist a lower bicep twist and then we've got the single elbow joint that just bends up a little bit not a whole lot of range though but it also has a twist in it as well and then the braces itself can twist and then the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth it's a bit of an ab crunch right there under his armor crunch back and forth there but he can twist side to side hips come up 90 degrees out to the side that far thigh twist that can twist all the way around just with the straps on his legs though it makes it really hard he's got a real stiff double knee joint that bends up that far though he's very close to kicking his own butt and the foot can flex back and forth there and twist side to side so great looking figure just really stiff joints and i believe we had those issues with the clone wars mandalorian figures as well from walmart all the joints were pretty stiff on it as well but again for some comparison here is the original Django fit i like the shininess overall of the original one and like a little bit darkerness of the armor but if you can see the actual like under padding colors they added like a dirt or grime to it and stuff so it's not as shiny but of course this one's based off a video game so it's going to be much cleaner looking overall but i just like the overall armor shininess compared to this new one let's go ahead and pull the helmet off there so we can do this and it does look pretty much exactly the same it doesn't look like there's much much difference at all. I actually think I like the original one a little bit more just because the new one's got the real shiny face to it but they don't look that much different but still very cool looking figures. Pretty much the exact same figure itself. They didn't really change much of anything that I can see but of course Django does of course come with his Wester 34 blaster pistols. He's got the dual ones of course they're all stuck in here with all his stuff so we'll go ahead and take these and put them in his hand. So there we got Django there looking super badass ready to take on some Jedi. And our last figure is Darth Nihilus from Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords and so Darth Nihilus of course has this big long story i've never played the game so i don't know much about him so i had to look it up a big whole long story but if you want to know about it you can go look it up yourself he is part of a sith triumvirate he was around during the jedi civil war and afterwards got picked up and was trained to become a sith and was so hungry for the sith force that he pretty much would kill and consume other people's force powers and he'd become so much force himself he wasn't even a corporal body anymore he was just pretty much a spirit that was attached to his mask so it's pretty much not any person underneath here it's just a spirit now all wrapped up and close but overall looks pretty cool reminds me a lot of like Darth Maul with just the all black just has the all black up top the nice belt there around keeping everything all nice and tight the under material here reminds me a lot of like Darth Vader's nice black gloves black cape on of course black hood that comes up to weird points here I don't know if like the figure itself had horns and so those are horn points or just the way the hood's designed but very awesome white mask with the red details on it looks very cool but again the black just continues down all the way to its feet right does have some really short stubby weird looking feet and they don't stand very well just the way his legs are designed his legs like stay spread apart there so has always like a wide stance but overall i think it looks pretty cool like i just like the all black outfit design and it just looks very awesome with that white mask it just stands out so much but for his move so his head there can twist a little side to side i think you can twist all the way around but of course i think i tried it and got his cape all messed up and everything so you have to be careful with that but then i can't get his head to move at all like to rock back and forth so no movement that way shoulders come up 90 degrees and can rotate around he's got a single elbow joint that bends up to 90 degrees there and has the rotation wrist can twist around and and flex back and forth he's got an ab crunch back and forth there and twist all the way around hips come up 90 degrees there out to the side that far he's got a thigh twist up in there that goes all the way around a big double knee joint right in there that can bend 
up that far and then the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side he has some limited movements but overall just very badass looking and then of course he comes with his red lightsaber a very cool looking handle though nice spiral design in there just looks awesome in the silver so we're going to just slide this right into his hand there and so there we've got darth nihilus ready to kill a bunch of people and consume their force energy so that's gonna be it for our small star wars black series gaming greats wave all gamestop exclusive figures and all feature from star wars games and i think they're all very cool i really enjoyed the darth nihilus i think he looks awesome the Django fed is cool especially since it's from the bounty hunter game and i just have so many connections playing that game as a kid so i absolutely love the Django fed and then the other two figures are cool i thought they'd be a lot cooler the scout trooper we've had multiple times before and i don't think the baton's that great and then i was excited for the purge trooper but i just don't like the electro staff that much it's just kind of let me down there but let me know what you thought of this wave down in the comments and have you picked these figures up for yourself because i can't recommend especially these two enough but i want to thank you all for watching i hope you stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.